Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you've been suffering from slow PC boot up or even performance on your system, there's a couple of things you can do to improve the performance. One of them is replacing the internal drive by let's say something like this, an SK Hynix SSD that allows us to actually not only have some of the fastest speeds on the market, but improves boot up time and app access time and even gaming on certain situations. This is TK and this is the SK Hynix 2 terabyte SSD. Let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. Today we're taking a look at the SK Hynix Gold P31 SSD. Now this one is a PCIe NVMe M.2 SATA drive that typically is mounted directly on our motherboard. Now they do sell other drives and this is the one that pretty much works for my system. And what I really like about this is that whatever system you're using, by just replacing it and upgrading to this type of a drive, you're going to get some of the fastest performances on the market to date. And this is even faster than the Kingston drive drive that I just received not that long ago. So the biggest difference here is that SK Hynix is known for memory and they've actually been in the market for quite some time and a lot of times you find them as actually the manufacturer for some of your OEM uh, you know chips or RAM basically. So they're actually not new they've been around for quite some time even though the name may not be very familiar. Now, the one that they sent me is the two terabyte model, and this is gonna be the best performing uh, device out of the three. They have a 500, a, a one terabyte, and a two terabyte model. When it comes down to terabytes written, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are curious of how the performance is gonna be. So the 500 gigabyte model will have basically uh, 500 uh, basically terabytes written. That's the lifespan that they're guaranteeing for it. Uh, as far as when you go to a terabyte, that's 750. And then when you go up to the two terabyte model, you're up to 1200 terabytes written. So the lifespan of these things are gonna be not only, well, not only are they gonna be fast, but they're gonna last you for a very long time. And one of the best processes here is to make sure that when you put it in your system to provide some type of a cooling mechanism. My system provides heat sinks, so now when I put it in there, it was easily uh, enclosed within and there was a heat sink that goes on top of it. If you don't have something like that, you can pretty sure pick up something like that directly from Amazon. And the best performance that we're gonna get here essentially is if you use this as your boot up system, meaning your boot up drive for your PC. By doing so, you provide it not only the ability of using the fastest connection speed, the fast and transfer speed, but also helps the boot up process of your system. So all in all, by just changing the drive, which by the way, they do provide a migration tool so you can actually transfer your data from your old device or from your old drive to the new one. So you're not gonna have to worry about that. It's gonna be very simple and very easy. And what you're looking at right now here is I'm showing you three different speeds. I have one of my normal SATA drives that I have here uh, that's basically gonna be running, uh, it's actually not slow, but when you compare that to the Kingston one that I upgraded to, that to me was much faster. And then to go from there to the P31, that's like crazy speed. If you're looking to upgrade or at least improve the performance of your system, uh, the SK Hynix, uh, definitely the P31 model is not going to disappoint. And they're definitely competitive when it comes down to their pricing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm hoping that this actually provides you a little bit of a solution to improve the speed on your system. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. I'll see you in the next video.